Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Johnston Sakwa from the Open Blessing Church, Nairobi headquarters, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing and lovely morning. I want to welcome you wherever you are, and I believe that the Lord is going to minister to us greatly by the grace of God. Shalom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory. We honor you. We appreciate you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your loving kindness. And we thank you this morning because who can be like our God? Have your way in our midst this morning. Speak to us and bless us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I want to share about a subject that I've that the Lord has enabled me to speak to you that I've titled Arise and Shine, Arise and Shine. Now, I want you to understand that from the very beginning, everybody that God has allowed to come onto this earth, there's something specific and unique that the Lord wants you to accomplish. And we know from John 10, verse number 10, that the intention of the enemy is to ensure that you do not arrive at your place of destiny. The thief cometh but not to steal, kill, and destroy. So that is what the enemy intends or purposes or wants or desires, that you will not live to see the intention of God in your life. But the Bible tells us Jesus came, that we can have life and have it more abundantly. And so in our journey towards our destiny, in our journey towards our purpose, there are means or times or you know situations that arise in our path that can either cause us to feel that we might not be on the right track or bring in uh, situations where you feel overwhelmed, challenged, or sometimes hopeless. But I want to say this morning, it's our time to rise and to shine. Now, I read the Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 60, verse number 1. Isaiah, chapter number 60, and verse number 1. For your light has come, arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is is risen upon you. Praise the Lord. Now, what happens is that when you look at the scripture, you realize that there's a moment that the, the people who the scripture is being written to is that they were down. They were at a place where they were like, you know, defeated. When the Bible tells us, arise and shine, it means you are down, you are at a position possibly of disadvantage or nobody has taken recognition of you. And so you're being encouraged to arise. Now, it is, it's a bit interesting to realize that when you bring in arise and shine in the same sentence, because arise is from a position of being low. So how can you just come from that position and shine? But Bible tells us we are not having our own kind of, you know, Glamour. The Bible tells us, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Praise the Lord. So this is an operation by God. This is something that has been made real or made good by virtue of God's power and ability in our lives. Praise the Lord. And so every time we look at this life, we look at the opportunity that God avails to us. We have got every reason to believe that God is doing great and mighty things on our behalf. Oh, hallelujah. Now, every time we find ourselves in a place of disadvantage, all we need to do is to turn to God. All we need to do is to turn to Jesus. All we need to do is to turn to our God. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you this morning, categorically, that our God is in control. Praise the name of Jesus. 
our God is in control. And the realities of which we speak about is about God's ability to change our situation. God's ability to intervene in our situation. I don't know where you find yourself this morning. I don't know what challenge exists. I don't know what complication is ahead of you. I don't know what is it that is giving you anxiety and sleepless nights. I want to assure you that God says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Now, sometimes uh, what we are being described to be is that not which we are. Sometimes we are troubled by words that have been spoken against us, and we have no way, we have got no opportunity to defend ourselves. I bring to you glad tidings this morning. Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, and your light has come. Praise the Lord. So every time we have got opportunity and time, let us know that God is working behind the scenes to ensure our victory and our success. Arise and shine. Don't look down upon yourself. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our lives. May this word help you to rise up, to come up from the place you're in and look forward to the manifestation of the power of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory and we give you honor. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for reminding us that Lord will arise and shine for our glory has come, O oh God. I thank you, Father, for many people who are going through specific or you know, challenging moments. I pray that God, through your mighty hand, you're going to deliver each one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory and I honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your servant and your host, Reverend Johnston Sapper from Open Blessing Church Headquarters, Nairobi, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom. The good Lord bless you. Amen and amen.